May peace and blessings be upon you, my friends. Welcome to story time with Miss Giraffe. Assalamu alaikum, reading buddies. Welcome to story time with Miss Giraffe. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Eid Mubarak to each and every single one of you. First, we have a special salam going out to Miss Munira's class from Bright Horizon Academy. The special salam goes out to, of course, Miss Munira and Abdul Haq, Ayra, Aisha, Bilal, Dalia, Fazil, Fatima, Hiba, Ibrahim O, and Ibrahim A, Laiba, and Malik, Moaz, and Safa, Shuaib, and Sophia, Talha E, and Talha A, Tasmiya, Yunus, and Yusra. Salamu alaikum. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you guys are enjoying a wonderful Eid with your family, friends, and loved ones. So today, inshallah, we are going to read one of the stories from the book, Noor Kids Go to Hajj. It's a really good book. If you have a copy of it, go grab it so you can read along with me. Bismillah. Noor Kids Go to Hajj. In Allah's orbit. Did you know? By the time you are eight years old, you will have been around the sun eight times. Our planet and the other seven planets in our solar system rotate around the sun in a big circle called an orbit. Why do planets orbit the sun? The sun has a pull called gravity. It attracts planets like a magnet. Because of this, planets rotate around the sun for their entire lives. I can see your love for astronomy. The school has an old telescope that nobody is using. You should take it. Awesome! Thanks, Mr. Salman! Bring, bring. Just as Asset finishes talking, the bell rings. School is over. Asset rushes for the exit, excited to get home. As soon as he arrives, Asset runs to his bedroom. After quickly assembling the telescope, Asad begins to dream about all of the out-of-this-world things he'll get to see. I can't wait to finally use this! Just as Asad is about to use his telescope, he hears a call. Asad, it's time to eat. Please come downstairs. Asad puts his excitement on hold and joins the family for dinner. Mmm, my favorite! Bismillah! Hajj is right around the corner. One bite into his mouth-watering burger and Asad forgets all about his telescope. He listens to his mom and dad talk about Hajj. During Hajj, Muslims from all around the world make a journey to Mecca in order to build a stronger relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the rituals pilgrims perform is called Tawaf. In Tawaf, Muslims walk around the Kaaba seven times. Why do pilgrims do that? Great question! Asad's mom explains that Muslims go on the pilgrimage to Mecca because they are attracted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and want to be closer to him. By making tawaf around the Kaaba, Muslims are able to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the center of their lives. I want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the center of my life too. But right now, I want to find planets with my telescope. Asad asks to be excused from dinner and again rushes upstairs. Just as Asad gets to his room, he hears his alarm ring. Ring! Ring! 
Salad time already? Oh man, I really wanted to use my telescope. Asad begins to think about what his parents said about Hajj. Are gadgets and gizmos most important in my life? Or is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Questions for you, my reading buddies. How is the pilgrim's tawaf around the Kaaba similar to the planet's orbit around the sun? Hmm. The center of your life is usually what you think about the most. What's the center of your life? Mm -hmm. How can you show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the center of your life even when playing? Hmm. Let's continue with the story. After a bit of thought, Asad decides to do his prayers. After finishing, he finally takes a look into the telescope. Subhanallah! Look at all of these incredible planets in orbit around the sun. But me? I'm in orbit around their creator. By putting his prayers first, Asad was in Allah's orbit. The end. Muslims from all over the world go to Mecca to perform pilgrimage or the Hajj to show what it's like to be united for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While performing the manasik or the steps of Hajj, Muslims show how they are all bonding together to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is the center of their lives. We should never let anything come between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the controller of everything. So if one of my reading buddies is having fun playing with their toys or watching a show or reading a book and comes the time of prayer, we have to pause, go have a private meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then go back to what we're doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that controls everything. So if we leave everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it's time to have our private meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he will make everything easy and blessed for us so during the celebration for Eid al-Adha when you're having fun with your family or friends or playing with your new toys or with a game and then comes the time for prayer we have to pause go have our private time our salah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then go back to what we're doing trust me when we put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first in our lives is when our lives become very blessed and have everything go smoothly for us. Inshallah, you have a wonderful and blessed Eid with your family, friends, and loved ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this Eid al-Adha full of blessings, hope, joy, and wonders to all of the people around the world, all of our ummah, and all of my reading buddies. I really hope that you've enjoyed the story today. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Stay healthy, awesome, and with strong Iman. I'll see you next time, inshallah. Eid Adha Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, join me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Jazakumullahu khairan for stopping by. Assalamu alaikum.